be playing this well in the second week. How satisfied are you with that? Well, uh, I feel um, very, very good now. Um, I think I played the best match here in Roland Garros uh, against Carla, which always was a tough uh, match. And on clay, I never won against her. So uh, it was a really good, uh, good match. I think I played exactly what I had to. Uh, about my ankle, um, I still feel at some balls uh, pain, but doesn't bother me. So I can run. I'm not thinking about it during the the points. So I feel I feel that uh, I'm fit. I'm ready to to go f into this uh, second week. Um, I'm happy to be in the quarterfinals again. So let's see. Next opponent, it's a big challenge for me. So I will uh, I will give my best. You were consistently hitting the ball with lots of depth right into the baseline. Is that an aspect of your play that you're particularly pleased with? Uh, yeah, I'm really pleased with the way I uh, played today. Uh, I think it was a complete game. Um, also, I um, played a little bit higher, so I knew that it's good against her. Also, I attacked the balls. Um, I didn't stay uh, too far from the court. So I opened the court. I served pretty well. So I think every everything went pretty well for me today, and uh, I'm really pleased with uh, with my game. Simona, you tend to be very harsh on yourself or on your own performances in terms of no how <laughs> no <more. laughs> you play. But how often how often does it happen that you step out on court and that you just feel the ball and 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 just just hit hit through it the way that you've done today and also at several points in the past few weeks? Well. Um, as you know, and everyone knows, um, I think my attitude helps me to to see the game better and uh, to be able to to play relaxed and to play uh, more positive. Um, I think I am uh, more present on court and uh, I know exactly what I have to do against each player. I just feel the ball now. <laughs> I don't want to talk too much about uh, this feeling because uh, I want to keep it. Uh, it's a good tournament for me and... Um, it's like amazing how I won today, how I played against Carla. It's never easy against her. Simona, the the, um, the way you've changed your attitude to be more more positive, has, have you done that in other parts of your life as well? Has it sort of transferred? Yeah, I think um, everything has changed also in my general life. Um, I'm more positive and uh, helps me. Um, I don't have bad moods anymore, so it's good. Obviously, um, this has happened quite quickly. Has it been easy for you to, or difficult to change this, you know, so quickly? It was difficult, and um, I uh, still uh, want to say that um, I have more to improve uh, in uh, this way. But uh, now I'm okay with the way I am on court and out of court. Um, I just work hard, and I really wanted to change that. I knew that uh, it's going to change my game if I am more um, like calm, calm on court. You had a brief, uh, I guess, uh, vacation from Darren after Miami and everything. How did you call that vacation, help? You vacation, but <laughs> not a vacation. I'll, trying to be polite. Uh, how did that help you? And also, how much was that responsible for this new positive attitude? I think uh, it meant uh, a lot uh, that he took that uh, decision. Um, helped me. Um, I uh, just felt that um, it's like it's it was like a shock because I lost the coach so um, I have just to improve in uh, in this way because he never had uh, something to complain about my game and about the work that I do because I'm working but just with my attitude and uh, I knew that is the only one thing that uh, I have to change to uh, have him back so I work hard and um, I changed. Yeah, I changed pretty pretty fast, but still, I repeat, I have a lot to work on. Simona, do you do you think, or have you even asked Darren this? Did did he do it deliberately? Stop to try to get you to change your attitude? I didn't ask this. I will ask him. <laughs> do you? But do you I think? don't think. I don't think. No. You think he just? He was upset after Miami match. You're playing with a lot of confidence and freedom right now. How important is it for you to take the same approach and the same attitude into the next game? Well, yeah, um, I feel confident. I feel my game. Um, but every match is tough. Uh, nerves before the match as well. Uh, I will face a very good player, which is uh, 
playing really well this year, uh, but I need to play again because I lost that final in Rome uh, with the injury and I was not happy about that. Now I have another chance, another challenge. So it's going to be a tough one, but I'm ready to play it. And um, I just wish to beat me if it's better not to lose the match. So I will do everything I can. Samara, congratulations on your form. Thank um, you. You got. I got it. You got to explain this Darren thing to, again. So he, you don't see it coming, and he says to you, I, "I, I don't like your attitude anymore." And then, and then what? So are you trying to keep in touch with him? Are you trying to tell him, "Look, man, I can change." Like those weeks where he wasn't with you, were he you wasn't. still trying to tell him, "I'm, I, I'm, I can do this." He wasn't with me. Uh, he was home. Uh, I was home. Um, he just told me that uh, we will talk after Paris. Um, and then um, he liked how I was in uh, in Fed Cup, uh, both matches, and then in Stuttgart. So when um, I think when I finished Stuttgart, he said that uh, he saw enough and he's ready to come back. I asked him if uh, <laughs> if he wants to come back before Madrid. Um, he said yes because I improved a lot, and he saw that um, I really wanted to change that. So the desire that. Um, I had in that moment makes made him come back and just be ready for me. So I'm okay. <laughs> now I'm I'm happy that I uh, I can be positive on court, um, and I will never be negative like I was in Miami because I didn't like uh, when I saw the the video. Uh, I felt ashamed about what I did. So hopefully it's not gonna happen again. Simona, uh, also on Darren, what... Uh, Too many questions, questions about my coach. Oh. <laughs> Apologies. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, just, I just walked in, but what, what do you like the most about him and what maybe don't you like the most about him? Uh, well, uh, I like because he's a great person, first of all. Uh, he's a very kind person. And uh, second... Uh, I feel that I am a different player uh, since I started with him. Even if I didn't have uh, the biggest results in my career, I uh, play. I play different. I am um, like different uh, play on court with the game. I open the court better. So I feel that um, I learn something uh, new from him, like tactic and like a game as well. My forehand is improved, the serve as well. So. Um, his advice is uh, fits me, fit me, and uh, I can understand everything he says about the game. And I think that's why um, he has also confidence that I can do some things that he's telling me, and I have confidence in everything he says, so I can go and just do whatever he he's telling me. Simona, it seems like uh, every player from, we've seen from Romania kind of has passion, whether it's negative, positive, uh, that kind of we something going on pushed, in the yeah. water over there? Or is I it don't in know. The water, I think the what blood. makes you all that way? <laughs> the blood is inside. and <laughs> Yeah, but all of us, yeah, all of us, uh, we have something. Um, and I can say I have something more <laughs> uh, because I am uh, like, I'm living every moment very high intensity on court, off court. So uh, I have just to calm down that. And I think also the mentality. We are, um, we were growing up with this mentality and that's why maybe we are fired up all the time on court. Yes. Is there any more questions? Yeah. So taking that a little bit further, um, what do you think it is in, in Romania? It's a wonderful country, um, Southern Europe. What What is special in Romania to give that intensity uh, to so many? I don't know. <laughs> I just tell, uh, told you, I think the blood is the answer. We have it, so we don't know. Never, um, no one told me like, be like this. I'm just like this because maybe I was born with this thing with uh, the, f the fire in, in me, in myself. I'm just trying to take also the things from other people, like Darren, because he's Australian and he's more relaxed than us. So I'm trying just to adapt my myself 
and to adjust the things that um, are putting me down when I'm too negative on court. Thanks. Tough questions.